Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Red Faction Guerrilla with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, we made our way through the Free Fire Zone. This little section right here, uh, we were a bit bombarded. We lost a few good people in that mission. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, we lost a few, but that's okay because we survived. And we made it to EOS. This is the last area of the game. And also I think the biggest, it's massive. Look at it compared to, say, Dust. It's, it's even bigger than that. Although I think you can only really go around this bit, so maybe not. Uh, anyway, that's not the point. So yeah, we're in EOS, and I think in today's episode we'll have a little drive around, have a little look at it, and also start um, some of the story missions, because I should have stayed on this screen. Uh, in fact, the first two story missions are unlocked for us, not just the first one. As you can see, we've got one here, and we've got one right over there, and they're both reasonably short, so we can do them, hopefully, in today's episode. So enough babbling, let's get on with it. Oh look. Think the EDF can find us here? It's it's Jenkins. That's Jenkins, isn't it? We haven't really met you very much, Jenkins, because I don't really like your missions. I'm sorry. The collateral damage ones, but hey, you that's a lovely looking Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From Glen to Glen and down the mountain side. Okay then. I was about to say your mustache is very nice, but you know what? Your singing's pretty good as well. You, Mason. I can't say that about a lot of people these days. Okay, shut up. Right, let's go. Um, we will head to. Yeah, let's just let's just get out of this place. There's too many people talking. Stop talking over me, guys. You're so rude. We we'll make our way to uh, this one right here, which is quite close. So we do it. And on the way, I can show you a little bit of Eos, because in fact, I think Eos is my favourite. Uh, mm, I think it's my favourite area, be only because uh, of the buildings here. The buildings are a lot bigger. It's kind of the main EDF like hold, so you, you'd imagine them to have bigger buildings, bigger bases here, and uh, that just makes for better destruction, in my opinion. When you can take down a big building, it's just a lot more fun. Uh, you'll see, actually, we'll try and do one in the next story mission. Um, but I also like, hang on, can we see any yet? Drone convoy is moving to the cam depot. Stop them and see if anything's worth stealing. No. No. Oh, is this one up ahead? No, that's just a regular billboard. They have these sort of electronic billboards, which are really out of place. They don't look like they should be there at all. Uh, but I kind of like them. It's sort of a blade runnery in a way, if that makes sense. Uh, well, with all the sort of it's cyberpunk, a bit like that, but but not really. Not, oh, there's one up there. You see that? Look, they're very, they're very, they're very contrasting, aren't they? I mean, I kind of like them. I do like them, but they don't really fit in with the environment. Oh, that's me on there. Uh oh. Oh, that probably says that we're wanted. Let's get away from there. <laughs> um, oh, this is a target as well. Another bridge to destroy. We'll probably destroy this using a um, Moab. At some point, get a nice uh, chunk of control down with that thing. But yeah, the mission's just up here. And in fact, I, I quite like this mission as well. I said that for the last one. I, I, the way I say that is like I don't like the majority of them. The majority of them are fun. They're just they're just quite short. Um, and this one is still quite short, but you know, it's got a nice different sort of feeling to it about what you have to do. It's not just blowing stuff up. Although, yeah, still helps. Let's get started. Our support in EOS is growing, and that makes the enemy desperate. EDF has declared an emergency lockdown, with orders to shoot anyone on the street. It's a virtual siege. No food, water, or medical supplies until residents give up Red Faction sympathizers in EOS. EDF snipers have already killed a dozen people. Your job is to end this atrocity. Get in there, and clear those snipers out. Let's show the people of EOS the Red Faction fights for them. The snipers are operating in the EOS residential quarter. We've confirmed at least five gunmen, possibly more. The situation is critical, Mason. Two more people have been shot. Okay, I'm just going to have to shut you up for a second there. I need to set a marker so I know where I'm going. Okay, carry on. Find those snipers and stop them. God, okay. We'll do. Uh, yep. Uh, I'm on it. Don't worry. Don't mind me. So yes, this is a sniper mission right here. Um, 
Let's. Oh god, let's get. Yes, yes, I'm on my way. To find a sniper, you gotta think like one. Search the rooftops. Clear all the windows. Check any place that would give them a good vantage point. Okay, I will do. Don't don't fret. It's my job, don't worry. Is it my job? Am I getting paid for this? I guess I get salvage. Yeah, I'm getting paid for it. All's well. So yes, this is a sniper mission and um that's that's kind of why I like this because it's it's a different like I said it's a different mechanic it involves a little bit of a different bit of gameplay here um, it's kind of like the obligatory sniper mission in the game and in fact we need to get up high as the guy just suggested we need to think like a sniper so we're gonna go up here oh god come on and try and get a good vantage point the game I think the game wants you to come up here because look it gives you this nice flat flat as well. So what have we got with us? We got nano rifle, uh, uh, rocket launcher. Oh, they're not going to do much remote charges. I think the nano rifle is going to be good. So the sniper rifle guys, the snipers are over there and down here, and they're going to be in the white suits. Yes, yeah, those guys right there. Uh, so I'm going to try and get as many headshots as I can. Headshots hopefully should take them out in one. Let's see if this works. One sniper down. Oh, it did. Good. Uh, I think usually they're two shots with a nano rifle because I haven't uh, upgraded mine yet. I don't think I will, to be honest. They're pretty good as it is. So, let's see. How do I... Hmm, I thought there's one there. No, there's one there, though. Just killed the son of a bitch. You've got their attention. The EDF are closing in. Oh, man, this is good. Even through windows. Is that another one gone? Yeah, five out of eight. Boom. There's all those lot taken out. Man, the sniper rifle is good. Uh, the nano rifle is good. But actually, having said that, I do want to try a sniper rifle. So that does mean I want to go down there and try and grab one off of their corpses. Oh, there's a lot of guys down there, and you know what? They're not. They're not much of an issue up here. Their, their ammo, their bullets don't really do much. But down there, it's gonna hurt. I'm a bit worried. Um, how would we get out? We've got to think of an escape plan. Okay, I think it's up there. Right, let's just go in. Let's just try and do it. Ready? Oh. Oh. Go, go, go. Come on. Gentle, gentle. Easy does it. Yes. Here we go. Uh, let's swap the... We don't need the charges. Oh, new handbook entry for the sniper rifle, I guess. So, um, yeah. This is a sniper vision, and I kind of like it. Uh, even though it's sort of... Even though you would think I wouldn't, because it's sort of stealthy. Well, no, that's not. I suppose stealthy isn't the right word, because it's not. I mean, oh, ow, 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 ow. Sniper rifles aren't exactly the quietest uh, of weapons, are they? But it's sort of stealthy in the way that you need to be careful, and I'm very reckless when it comes to games, as you just noticed. It's more like um, oh. It's more like a. Uh, yeah, you just got you just got to watch out more. At, Actually, I'll tell you what it's like. If any of you played uh, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty, there's that Spec Ops mission where you're in the, the ghillie suit and you have to you know, crawl around and make sure you don't get shot by the uh, uh, by the snipers. And my friend and I, I always sucked at that so much. I mean, I kind of liked it, but I also hated it as well. Just because it involved being really careful. And uh, that's not my forte. All right, let's try and make it to the other... The other bit of rock here. Oh, that's a good boost we just got on there. Very nice. Okay. But no, I still like it because it's still different. It's still different. In fact, let's try this sniper rifle. One problem I have with the sniper rifle, though, is uh, the frame rate goes really bad when you look down the lens, down the scope. I don't know if you're seeing how. Can I get an example? Is there someone running, maybe? Is there any animation I can get? Oh no, it's not as bad this time. When I was practicing this mission, it really slowed down a lot. I guess because maybe it's, it's rendering things more? Oh, there you go. Now it's got... Look at that. That's really bad now. I, I don't know why. I guess it's because it is zooming in, so it takes more. Whatever. <laughs> Let's just try and use this stupid buddy thing. There we go. 
There is something very satisfying about using a sniper rifle, though. Yeah, there, it's just, it's just. Oh, where did that guy just go? Seriously, come on now. You were just there. You just disappeared before my very scope. Oh, you're gonna play that, are you? Play that game, will you? Okay, we'll take this then. Let me just blow him up this way. This will work. I'm sure. There's gonna be in there somewhere, right? No, wait, I know where the bugger's gone. Does it go around the back? No. Hmm, we might need to get closer to investigate. Which is a bit dangerous. But let's just do it. Out of the way there, guy. Oh, there he is. Oh, now you come back. Oh, all right, okay, I see. That's the last one. All clear. When do we launch the offensive? Sooner than you think. Be ready for it. Okay, oh, thank God for that. Right, the dogs of war complete. Completion bonus, 100. Morale bonus, 3. <laughs> Morale's not very good. Uh, total savage of 103. Okay, well, there you go. I'm hoping that the all the EDF are going to despawn. Oh, they did. Okay, that's nice. All right. So yeah, I like that mission. Nice little, uh, nice little difference. Not just blowing things up. It's a little bit more. Yeah, thanks. Uh, a little bit more. Well, not not tactics involved because there was <laughs> hardly a, a good display of tactics, but just something different to do. Just something a little bit different. And okay, so now we have a hundred. No, we have a thousand twenty-three salvage even. I think it's probably going to be useful to go back to the safe house and buy a particular upgrade. The particular upgrade being uh, what we unlocked by uh, liberating the free fire zone. The thermo... is it thermobaric? Thermobaric rocket. Something sciencey, you know, scien scientifical, scientific. Let's check. Oh, Samania! It was the thermal barrel. So that cost, oh my god, it cost a thousand. It is one of the. I mean, this, <clears throat> it's pretty much the last weapon in the game, though. So we're doing it. It's kind of. Try not to get yourself killed with this, please. No promises. Uh, it is kind of expensive. It should be expensive, I guess. It is supremely powerful. Uh, you'll see when we use it in the next mission. Oh, I forgot to do something though. I forgot to do something in that area. Hmm. 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 Let me go back over there. Hang on. Mars is for Mars. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, back where we just were, where all the snipers were. And you know I was saying how I like EOS because of the bigger buildings? I do. I really do. Because it also makes destroying them much more fun. You know, you've got this little piddly two-story building out in Parker. It's nothing. Yeah, a few walls collapse. Whatever. When you have things this size, this is when it starts to get more interesting. I mean, ideally, you'd want it even bigger. But I'll take this. I'm happy with this. Can we just go along the edge. I mean, I think it won't take much more than this. I know we've got guys shooting us, but that's fine. They're, they're, they're fine to do that. I mean, I am just destroying this building completely. Taking away the foundations. Oh. Might even use a few charges. Just to get the job done. Please do not do this. Stop that. In fact... Yeah, why not? One of our gorillas thinks they can get a ticket off Mars by helping the EDF. Find out what they know. No, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine just doing this, thanks. Okay, that is, that is teetering. Come on. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Love it. Come on. Tell me. Is that not more satisfying? Oh. Oh, I love it. Okay, right. Enough of that. Let's go on with the next mission. It's a very, very quick one. Um, yeah, let's get away from these stupid lot. I'll meet you over there.
Okay, we're here, and I have just realised that uh, I bought that thermobaric rocket, but I didn't buy any ammo for it. Yeah, well, rockets should suffice. Let's just get started. The EDF has organised a top-secret economic summit. They want to reassure business leaders that the insurgency is under control. Our giants of industry call themselves civilians, but make no mistake. Every EDF massacre and atrocity on this planet is done for their benefit. Mars makes them rich, and brutality keeps their workers in line. We've only got one chance. This time, they'll pay in blood. Check your map for the location. The building's under heavy security, so don't get too close. Who are these people? Mining consortium, military contractors, shipping conglomerates. They've got the EDF on a leash and most of the council on their payroll. <laughs> this won't help their stock prices. Exactly. If investors lose confidence, support for the occupation dries up. How many guests at this party? Enough to make it interesting. These men keep Mars in chains. Every time the EDF fires on a worker rally or drives people off their land, it's done for the benefit of these corporations. They'll kill anyone who gets between them and their profits. I'm at the site. I can see the building from here. Heavy security. Snipers in position. Whatever happens, don't let the targets escape. Okay, so, here we go. We're facing the real enemies of this game. The bankers. I guess that sort of reflects real life in a way. Uh, right, let's get started then. I, I, this is the opportunity where I would have liked to have used the thermobaric rocket because you can just, it would have caused utter destruction. But we'll have to stick with just the regular old rocket launcher and fire some in a few uh, windows down. over there. Got another one. They're making a run for it. No, no, they're not. Don't let them get away. That's oh. three. That's number four off the list. One more. That's the last of them. All targets are down. <laughs> These men have paid for their greed. We make the price high enough and Mars will be free. Holy crap, we just did that too well. Man, we just got... Did you see how shitty that was? Oh man, we got 103 salvage, but that was boom, done. One after another, we must have got them all in one rocket launch. <sighs> yeah, there you go. All the stock people, all the bankers, all the greedy, greedy businessmen. Well, they're gone. Absolutely gone. In a few rockets. You'd think they'd have a bit more protection than that, wouldn't you? Just a little bit more. But there you go. A um, couple of missions out of the way. Now we have to get rid of the control by quite a bit. 410. Oh, God. Um, we're going to do that by, again, I, I like destroying things more than the grid actions. Because it's just more fun. So we're definitely going to try and take down that bridge. The memorial bridge. There's also another thing. I think it's further up here. There's like a uh, sat thing right there, I think, which is like a big government building. Um, there are a few monuments all around that are bad monuments, so we can get rid of those. And we'll obviously, we'll do a few. We'll do a few. We'll maybe do a... I don't know. What what gets rid of control, apart from collateral damage, because screw Jenkins. House arrests. Yeah. Gorilla raids. Stuff like that. Um, but yes, that will be next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.